Stock prices of most small regional banks have become more attractive in the past one year. Do you have any opinions about regional banks as investments? And if you were going to purchase shares, what are the areas that you would carefully examine? Yeah, I, I don't think you, you should make a categorical decision about something like, however you define them, small, mid-cap, whatever, regional uh, or national banks for that matter. So much depends on the character of the institution, which will probably be a reflection to a great degree of the uh, type of CEO you have. And I, uh, a bank can mean anything. It can, you know, it can, it, it can mean an institution that's doing all kinds of uh, crazy things. Uh, it can, there was one called the Bank of the Commonwealth up in Detroit many years ago that, uh, went to extremes, and it was very popular in Wall Street for a while. Uh, it could mean the soundest of institutions. We had one, we owned a bank, the only bank Berkshire's ever owned in its entirety here in Rockford, Illinois, run by a fellow named Gene Abeg. And, you know, it wouldn't make any difference whether it was a super regional or a regional or a small or a mid-city, mid-cap bank. There's no way Gene Abeg could run on anything other than a super sound bank. So I don't think you should... I think you should know something about the culture uh, of the management and the institution to make a firm uh, buy decision on a bank. And that's hard to do uh, for 99% of the banks. We, we own stock, as you know, uh, it's in our report, Wells Fargo and U.S. Bank and M&T up in, in Buffalo. And in all three cases, I think I understand quite well the DNA of the institution in terms of how it behaves. That doesn't mean those places are immune from problems because they'll have problems. But it means that, but it does mean they're immune, in my view, from what I would call institutional stupidity. And uh, I would not say that all banks are immune from that. As a matter of fact, there was a very wise man named, I think it was Morris Cohen, that said there are more banks than bankers. And if you think about that a while, you'll get my point. <laughs> Charlie? Well, I think the questioner is on to something. So many of our very large banks, both here and in Europe, have sort of cast a pall of disgrace over the whole industry. And that has undoubtedly pounded down the stocks of some small banks that there's nothing at all wrong with. So I think you're prospecting in a likely territory. Yeah, but you can find a few big banks Yes, very similar. Too, and, yeah. and if I, I don't know if you took the 20 smallest banks in Florida and the 20 largest banks in Florida, which group would be in better shape in terms of the Florida real estate situation? It's a territory that has some promise. <laughs> that is a wildly bullish statement from Charlotte.